All right, welcome back to the Software Development Lifecycle course. In this lecture, we're going to finish our consumer listener test. And one of the first things we need to do is we need to add to our application config. We have got an error, and we need to add our namespace for MVC. And there it is. And then we'll do a build real quick. And there we go. Okay, let's just close that out. And back to our listener. First thing we do is add a JSON because we're going to run this JSON using EasyMock. Which reminds me, we need to go to our POM and add EasyMock. That's one of the classes we did not add or dependencies. So open up POM XML. And let's add. Easy mock. And there it is. 2.0 is fine. And save. And they should update our Maven dependencies. There they go. And back to our listener. Okay. And we need to add our JSON. Let's go to our adapter and add that one. And we'll just copy that one and paste it in. Okay, let's change the name real quick to, uh, we'll just add a three. Okay. Now that we're going to use easy mock, we need to mock our text message. And let's go ahead and do that. We'll say message equals create mock text message dot class. We'll see if it adds. I doubt it. Nope. Okay, let's do a quick import. It is a static class with a static method. So we'll say or dot easy mock dot easy mock dot create mock. And let me check that real quick. And I spelled easy mock wrong. And we're going to need three other static methods, so let's add those right now. And those are expect replay and verify. Okay, let's finish this off. To go down to our test on message, we're going to leave the listener on message, but at the end you have your a test. Well, at EasyMock is a little different. You have your expected test in the very beginning. So we're going to do that now. So they're saying expect, and our expected message is the message.getText. And return is our JSON. And of course, we got to and return, it should be a capital R. Then to run it, we call a method called replay. 
and what we're playing is the message. So we run it and say, okay, replay message, which is our argument. So we send that message and we replay our mocked object. And of course we call our on message and instead of a certain all, we verify. And all we're verifying is our mocked object. Okay, let's run this. And run as JUnit test. And we got some messages. Awesome. It sent to MongoDB. And our test is green. That's good. Let's go ahead and check inside of MongoDB. So let's open up Mongo View. And we click OK. And we connect. And then we open up our connection. And vendor. And collections. And we have two entries. And there is three, 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 three. There's our test. So it ran successfully. Awesome. So we have configured it and our consumer listener test is complete. Awesome. So now it's time to go to the next session. So on to the next lecture.